Tonight, I've gathered these gentlemen to enlighten you or to reason with you in a very vital topic known as the best way of living and dying. <laughs> yes, I know you are an Inkaka Madis. Yes. And um, you are being called upon tonight in the Quara to tell us, or if you like, to lay down codes of conduct for us for on how to live <laughs> and, how and, to and how to die well. Okay. If I take. Uh, Is it like an Inkaka? No, take life. Uh, Okay. Take living. Okay. For a layman, simply means participating actively in the stream of life. The stream of life is the an essence of the supreme creative energy, whose function is to generate life and sustain it. And when we participate in this stream of life, whether consciously or unconsciously, we are living. To me, the best way to live is first of all to be yourself. Live your life your own way, think, reason, take decisions, accept responsibility for choice. The second best way of living is to find yourself. Know yourself, man, know yourself. By that I mean discover your real essence, which is so spiritual, immortal that survives death. It is when you begin to operate consciously from this viewpoint that you can now see life beyond death and know what it is. The final aim or uh, way of living well is to set a goal. In Ekanka, our final goal is God, God realization. When you realize yourself as God and know his aim for generating the universe, which is not a chance, then you find your way your position in that stream of life and contribute actively. There are people live broadly in two ways. Either by taking life as it comes in nature's way, through trial and error, experimentation, and through experience. There is another way in which you can live more actively and contribute to the gamut of life, and that is in Ekanka. When you have now come to a point where you know where you come from, why you are here, and where you are going. So life becomes meaningful, and uh, you have direction at any point T in life. You know where you are going and what you are doing. Let me stop here to give my friend chance to contribute. I see. Well, um, I projected two hypotheses, life and death. You have only tried to tell us that the best way to live yes. is to be yourself, yes. to know yourself, and to set a goal. Yes. Okay. Now, you have not told me about dying. About dying. Okay. How do I die? Good that is so far as the second guy is concerned. This with knowing the constitution of man. Dying, as a layman knows it, means discarding the gross outer aspect of man, which is the physical body. But we know that when you do this, you now assume an inner form. In the scriptures referred to by Paul as there is a physical body, there is a spiritual body. We don't wait in Eka and Ka to die before we begin to function in this body. We learn how to function in this body when we are living, so that when we die, we know where we are going. And so you will move to a higher dimension and there you start to live actively, just as we are living here. Uh, so dying simply means discarding this body <coughs> and then assuming a higher body with which you operate in a, a higher dimension of life. 